We're going to go ahead and get started today. So good morning, everybody. My name is Kayla Parks, Director of Education for Chella. I'm joined with Sarah Siegel. Hi, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> My name is Sarah Siegel. I'm the Director of Sales here at Chella. And we're so happy to have everybody join us today for our monthly How to Brow webinar. We do these every single month. Um, so yeah, it's always a good opportunity to kind of refresh, or if you're new to Chella, to learn all the tips and tricks that we're gonna show you today, including some retelling, some color matching. We're gonna go through some product knowledge. Also, we're gonna do a live demo on myself. I do not have my brows on today um, for a reason, because Kayla's gonna do them and uh, walk through the service. Yes, yeah, so we're excited to have everybody here today. And it is, Brows are definitely the trend right now. We're going to start off by walking through our product knowledge guide so you can get to know each one of our products and give you some tips when you're talking about them as well. So I will share screen so everybody can see. Perfect. Can everybody see that okay? We do have Jocelyn in our chat today. Jocelyn is our fulfillment manager and she's going to be there to help answer any questions that you have or any comments. Please go ahead and enter them into the chat box. So at Chell, we were founded in 2003. We actually started as a skincare company, but then we developed the brow and eye collection in 2011. We're all about embracing your natural beauty. So beauty from within and just doing a quick enhancement with your brows and eyes. We are definitely inclusive. We have nine different shades to fill in with and six different highlighter shades. We're also cruelty-free, vegan, paraben-free, gluten-free, and brows are such a big trend right now. And we've been featured all over. So we've been featured in Ipsy, Vogue, Elle, Refinery29 with some great pieces about our products. Absolutely. And we like to ask the question, are you finishing every brow or beauty service with a quick complimentary brow fill? A brow fill only takes you about 60 seconds and can be done really quickly and easily on your clients after any service, whether it's a facial, a hair service. Um, and they're actually one of the most booked services out there, right, Sarah? Absolutely. According to Square, it was the number one booked service. Um, and that's the data that they released um, last year. Brows are such a perfect enhancement to any services that you are currently offering. There is probably not a service that is out there that wouldn't, you know, benefit a brow fill and sending your clients and guests out the door with, you know, an enhanced look. They don't have to have anything else on their face, bare face, do their brows. And as Kayla said, it's a natural enhancement that can be such a game changer for your spa and your business and for the client themselves. You can actually teach them and actually show them how they can look with brows that they may not have thought about before. And then they can incorporate that in their routine when they go home. Yeah. And oftentimes I see clients after a service, they go into the locker room or their car to put yeah. on their brows because yeah. we like to feel 100%. good and we like to have our brows done. They frame our face. Yeah. So the more that this service can be communicated within your business, in the locker room, in your service areas, at the front desk, all of these times, this is just a really good reminder of that you are doing brows. And we have shelf talkers that speak to that as well that you can um, get from us. Yes. So what we've been talking about is that 60 second brow fill. So it doesn't take a lot of time. It's very quick to do. You use the eyebrow cream or the eyebrow pencil from Chella, and then it's only 60 seconds. You go to fill in their brows and it makes the biggest difference on them. We have our how to brow in three easy steps as well. So this is great when you have a little bit more time or you want to incorporate this into your service or as Sarah had mentioned earlier, you want to teach your clients how to do their brows and you've got like 10, 15 minutes. Do all three steps because it makes a big impact doing all three steps on your clients. We have a kit that complements this perfectly. So step one is to fill with either the eyebrow cream or the eyebrow pencil. Step two is to define with the eyebrow defining gel. And step three is to highlight with the highlighter pencil. So that brow cream, now I love this brow cream. It really goes on naturally and a little bit of product goes a long way. So I only take a little bit of product out at a time, but it does come in nine different shades and it's gonna stay in place all day long. Yeah, absolutely. It's a really long wearing product and you know, it's just got the convenience, it's all in one. You've got the brush and then you've got the product. So it's, it's great for you know, your purse, your makeup purse, um, for the clients not to have to buy an additional brush. Absolutely. And then we have our eyebrow pencil it comes in those same nine shades as well. A lot of people are used to a brow pencil and this one 
definitely stands out because it is so pigmented. So these products stand out with the other companies that you see out there on the market right now, and they are cruelty-free and vegan. So you know you're recommending good quality products to your client. And this pencil specifically has a built-in spoolie and a really fine tip to it. And it's very pigmented. So just a little bit, it goes a very long way. It's got some great care ingredients in it too, such as vitamin C and E in there. And it is very versatile. I feel like it's a good go-to for a lot of people. Absolutely. And it actually does cover gray hairs as well. So if you have a client that has, you know, a few gray hairs mm -hmm. in their in their brows, it does actually cover um, those. Yeah. And if I'm working with somebody with a lot of gray hairs in their brows, I might actually gravitate towards the brow cream yeah. too, because it does lay on really nicely. Yeah, absolutely. And then we have our eyebrow defining gel in the shade clear. Now this one is a favorite of mine because it's got aloe vera. So it's very hydrating and it doesn't get like crispy or flaky on you, but it defines and holds the hairs in place perfectly. It's also good for your male clientele too. Yeah, absolutely. Our CEO founder who has pretty crazy brows, he wears it on a regular basis. Yes. Our next product is the highlighter pencils. The highlighter pencils that come in matte or shimmer and they come in four different shades. Um, the different shades are light, medium, dark, and deep. They're very creamy, blendable. They don't like get cakey or crease on you. And so you can use them as a base for eyeshadow or around the brow as the highlighter. They're, the, the application is limitless. You can use it really anywhere on the face you want to for a concealer, highlighter, whatever you need. It's got Candelilla Cera in it, which is an emollient, which helps it really be super blendable and yeah, creamy. Absolutely. And I take the medium when I go on vacation. So it really is a multifunctional pencil that can be used on other areas of the face as well as underneath the brows. Great. I'm just going to go back and check our chat, see. Um... Looks like we're still having issues with people being able to hear. So this is being recorded. So if you are having technical issues, we will send this out in an email blast probably tomorrow or the next day so you can see the recording. Um, but if you can hear us, let us know in the chat. Our next product is our highlighters in the shimmer. So these come in light and dark. They're very universal though. So you don't need a huge shade range with these because they don't have a big um, undertone to them. So I can use the light or the dark on myself and I'm very fair skinned. And I also use the light and the dark on very deep skin tones too. We did a photo shoot this year where I was using the light highlighter on like the inner corner of somebody who had really deep skin tone. It was beautiful. It also has got shea butter in it. So again, very blendable, very creamy, really easy to apply. Yeah, absolutely. A favorite of mine. I wear it every day. Inside corner of the eye. Right. Now our how to brow custom eyebrow kits. Now these ones are amazing. If you do all three steps with the how to brow and three easy steps, um, this complements that perfectly. So you get your fill, define, highlight, and the dual blending brush that comes into it. And it has a built-in savings for your customer. So when they go home, they're able to have everything that you did on them with step-by-step -step instructions. And it also includes a cute makeup bag too. And we're going to stop sharing and just kind of show you this kit up close and personal real quick. This kit is such an amazing retail revenue driver. These are amazing to highlight during all during the year, but also to highlight at special times of the year. So great for holidays, great for Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, getting ready for summer, um, going back to school. So these custom kits come complete with a little makeup bag, little cello makeup bag, and they also come with the instructions front and back. And then you will receive it into the spa and into the business like this, where you will customize it for your client or guest. So this is a pencil kit. So I'm going to customize it with the custom uh, color of their choice out of the nine shades with a pencil. And then I'm going to customize it with one of the six shades that we have in the highlighter. So the four mattes or the two shimmers. So that's the highlighter shade. It then completes the kit. The kit comes preloaded with the full size gel and the dual blending brush already. And then the kit retails for $75 for the pencil kit with a value of $95. Now, as a business, you are going to ring up three SKUs. So the built in discount is already built in. You don't have to discount anything out in your system. The box gets rung up as one item. Number two is the SKU for the pencil or the cream. And then number three is the highlighter. And then that will add up to that retail item. The uh, cream kit is 80 with a value of 100. So these kits are amazing. And regardless of, you know, 
what kind of browse service you're offering, these kits are an amazing way to send your client out the door with everything in, in there that they need. Great. So those are awesome kits to have. I typically retail those right after I do a how to browse in three easy steps. It's a really natural transition. It doesn't feel like you're selling anything because you're really just educating your client on the products, what you use on them. Absolutely. We do have a brow menu, so you can reach out to sales at challa.com if you want to discuss the brow um, services that you can offer within your business with the brows. Um, it's something that can be also customized as well. We can actually customize it with your logo and actually edit out the service options and put the additional pricing that you offer. So this can, you know, be actually something that you can, you know, add as a supplement to your existing services without having to, you know, change the whole menu. But it's a very much a very good idea and always essential that you communicate the browse services. The client can't mm -hmm. book or, you know, take interest in something that can't be seen. Yes, it makes a big difference <laughs> being able to talk about it. You can also have your front desk be consistent in talking about <laughs> our how to browse and three easy steps or about just a browse service in general. I can't tell you how many times we'll go to an event and people don't even know that the <clears throat> spa offers brows. Yeah, we've been to several events. Kayla and I have done several events all over the country, but we do one locally. And I will tell you, there's a day of beauty that they offer. This is the local account that we have. And we will put probably on average 35 people in our chair between us. And I will say that probably 31 of those, and that was the data from one of the last ones that we did, 31 of those people bought a kit. Because when you demonstrate the product, put the product on the client, and they see that before and after, it's so impactful. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. It makes that big impact. And I think giving them the tools to go home with is very important. And it's just educating our clients. So let's talk about how do we approach this conversation yeah. with our spas and salon, or sorry, with our clients at our spas? How do we do so, that? <laughs> <laughs> so Sarah's in my chair right now, and I'm I just finished her facial. She's got a glowing look to her right now. I'm going to go ahead and just let Sarah know. Say, hey, Sarah, I just finished up your facial for you. And now I'm going to go ahead and do a quick complimentary brow fill. And it's just part of our service today. And if you don't like it, we'll take it off. See, so. the difference is if Kayla had asked me for permission to put brows on, I probably would say no. Because in my head, I'm thinking, oh, I'm that means I'm going to have to buy something. I don't typically fill in my brows. How's that going to look? Is it going to be the right color? I always already use something. So there's a lot of things that can go on in your client's head. So if you're presenting it that you are going to do this for them, and if they don't like it, you can take it right off. It is a game changer. Mm -hmm. We work with estheticians all over and have seen this in action and did this versus this. And it will, it makes such an impactful difference on, on the service. Right. So it could be a complimentary brow fill, or as I said earlier, and Kayla said earlier, it could be the extensive, you know, not extensive, but the three steps as well. Yeah. And a lot of times when we talk about the brow fill, we don't talk about it as it being makeup. We, we can even yeah. say like this an enhancement today. I'm going to go ahead and fill in your brows real quick. Yeah, absolutely. It's and always have a mirror handy for them so that when you have done one brow, you show them in the mirror. And we're going to do this right now, a live demo, um, because that before and after is just, it's again, it's very, very powerful. I have put personally brows on people that have been extremely reluctant. I have put them in my chair and they're like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't usually do this. I know it's not ready for usually for me. And I'm like, Peggy, please let me just do this for you. And I have seen the impact of people jumping out of the chair saying, oh my gosh, I've never felt this much beautiful in such a long period of time. And that is the power of the brow. It really is. It, it definitely is. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to our close-up camera for Sarah, and we're going to show you a quick 60-second brow fill. Just one thing before we do that. Do we have any questions? There are no silly questions. Please, please speak up. If we'd love to hear from you and make this interactive, are there any questions that have come up for you so far about anything? Just give it a, give it a minute, just in case you're typing, because we love questions. Yes. Okay, nothing right now. All right, well, um, let's jump into the demo. Great. Great. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the demo, switching to our close-up camera on Sarah. Look at you all close, Sarah. Okay, <laughs> close-up and personal. 
So we can say that Sarah just had her facial done. And now I'm going to go ahead and say, Sarah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give you that enhancement today. It's a quick brow fill on you. If you don't like it, just take it off. And now we'll start that brow fill. So I'm using our tester block today, and I'm going to grab a pencil to do a quick brow fill. You could also do this with an eyebrow cream. Our brow pencil has a spoolie on one end, and it's got the fine tip on the other end. And then you want to do hair-like strokes with this, starting in the darkest place of the brow. So we want to brush the hairs upward first, kind of giving it that lift. And we're going to start right here. And I kind of like to lift the brow a little bit with my thumb. And if I'm doing this, if she's laying down, I'll also kind of walk around to the side of her and do this a little bit more front on, or you can do it from behind, whatever your personal preference is. But I do short little hair like strokes and I'm barely pressing. So I'm holding the pencil down here, the end, rather than up here. Because if I hold it up here, it'll get too heavy. If I hold it down here, I get more of a feathery flick. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same up above. And now with Sarah's brows, I know this brow is a little bit lower. So I like to kind of give her a little bit more of an arch. And then I blend that through. Always blend through the brow. It makes a huge difference. It evenly distributes the product. It makes it look more natural. And I'm going to blend through the front and lightly fade it. So the front of the brow should always be a little bit lighter, and then it's going to get darker from the arch to tail. Thank you, Sarah. It's a little bit of an awkward angle here, so she just slightly turned towards me so I could see a little bit better. And then we're going to just blend that through one more time. So and that's that quick brow fill. See what a difference that can make. So that's the before and then that's the after. And that takes less than 60 seconds. And you can do this with the brow cream as well. We just demoed it with the brow pencil. On the other eye, we're going to do the brow cream. Mm -hmm. So that is the 60 second brow fill that can be done post-service. Yes. And um, I would just make sure that after a facial that the area is dry. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you have a lot of skincare on your client, yeah. just over that area, take a clean cotton round and just wipe it so that it's a little, it's not too um, slick. You know what I mean? It's not too moisturized there. And now we're going to go to the other side and do our how to brow in three easy steps using our tester block again. And... And now with the brow cream, we are still using the tantalizing taupe. And that's what I use in the pencil as well. And the brow cream is a really unique product. How it works is it has the cream on the bottom here. It's a little pop there. It's also got the brush up top. So you're able to dip in and apply. Now when you're using this on multiple people, I actually scoop a tiny amount of product out, just a smidge, not a lot at all. Really small amount. I close it so that it has that airtight seal. And then I use the lid as my palette. So I'll place that product onto the back of the lid there. And now I can double dip on the lid rather than into the pot directly. So when I'm done with the service, I can sanitize the lid and I can sanitize the brush afterwards. And Sarah, what's your preference when you're filling in your brows, the cream or the pencil? um you know that's really hard <laughs> i was using the pencil for many years just just kind of mainly and using the cream once in a while but i've been using the cream a lot more in the last couple of years yeah yeah so why is that i just i just like the wearability of it i mean the fact that it just you know just wears all day until the time i go to bed um the pencil would do the same thing it's a long wearing product but if i am going to go into the evening i probably will touch it up late afternoon if, yeah. I, put, if I applied it in the morning yeah, I can see that. Especially with all your travels lately, I feel like that cream just really stays on. Yeah, the, the travel um, with regard to, you know, this is water resistance in the sense that you can jump in the pool with it, be poolside. Um, you know, if, you, if you've got like a long day, um, you can run, sweat in it. It doesn't come off. I actually have a friend recently that wore it to hot yoga and it didn't run at all. I mean, the, the long wearability of our cream is really incredible. We hear that from our customers all the time. And, um, you know, our Chella Bella followers. 
So we're going to get started with Sarah's how to brow in three easy steps. I went through and I brushed her hairs upward. But before we do that, let me show you a quick brow map. So I'm taking a brow <coughs> pencil and one shade darker, which is the medium brown, and I'm going to map out her brows. I start off from mid nostril through corner of the eye. This is where the beginning of her brow should be. Mid nostril straight through her pupil or through the center of the eye. That's where her arc should be. Corner of the nose to corner of the eye. This is where the brow should end. So you can do this in different ways. I'm going to go through and darken these up so you can see them. You can either use a wax stick and kind of measure it out and use the pencil to make your marks. You can do it how I did it with just the pencil. There's a lot of ways to make these marks, however you're comfortable doing it. Now I can see her brow. and I know that her brow is starting in the right place. It's a falling a little short though on this tail. And it does have a nice arch here. Oftentimes I will see that client's arch is too far in here, which pulls the look this way as opposed to this way. And it makes us look a little more surprised. We might not want that on a day-to-day -day basis. So teaching our clients about arch placement is super important. We're gonna then connect at the points. Now this brow map, you could be doing this before you do a brow fill. You could do this before you do a brow wax. Oftentimes when you do this before brow wax, it's nice because you can map out the hairs, map, map out the brow, and then tell your client, I'm gonna remove anything outside this map. Are you comfortable with that? Everything inside of it is gonna stay. So it's a great way to ensure that your client's very comfortable, or if you're working on somebody who doesn't have any brows at all and you wanna map them, it's also very helpful for that, right, Sarah? Absolutely. It's um, great for people that don't have any brows at all. So mm -hmm. um, it's, it's it's really great just all around. It's, it's great to teach the, the clients this as well. Right. I think we're having some people that are still having problems seeing or hearing anything. Um, we hope that this gets resolved soon and we do apologize. We're not quite sure what's going on. Yes. And we are recording this. So we'll make sure that the, the recording goes out to everybody. So we're going to go ahead and do her how to brow in three easy steps. We're going to fill in with the eyebrow cream and the shade taupe. We're going to start in this arch to tail because this is where we want the darkest part of the brow to be naturally. So we start here and then we're going to do the same up above. And a little bit of this product goes a long way. So I only have a tiny amount on my brush. I often wipe off the excess. And then whatever I have left on the brush though, this excess product, I just kind of brush it through the front. So I didn't actually have to dip in anymore. I just brushed it through the front of the brow. I'm going to then blend it and fade it. I always, I also blend off the map right here so we don't see harsh lines on Sarah. And then I just blend it through. So that is the brow fill with the eyebrow cream. And then we're going to be doing the highlighter pencil, sorry, the brow gel. And we're gonna use the brow gel with a disposable spoolie. So this is the brow gel. You're gonna untwist it. It has a small wand in there, but when you're using it on multiple people, you wanna go ahead and use a disposable spoolie and a little bit goes a long way. So you just lightly dip it in. And then you're gonna brush the hairs upward. This is gonna be the fluffier, fuller effect. And it really makes a huge difference when you're doing that definition and that lift to the brow. And then our third step is to highlight. So we're gonna highlight all the way below the brow. And then just above the arch to tail. And then we're gonna take the dual blending brush and blend that out. And you can use this anywhere on the face like we had mentioned earlier. Um, I think Sarah uses it as a concealer too. Mm -hmm. And then we just carve out this arch. So see this brush, it kind of curves with the arch of the brow. It makes a big difference when you're blending it out. So don't underestimate this brush. It comes in the kit and it does for a reason. It's really an amazing brush for around the brows. How does that look? Amazing. See what a difference that makes? It really does. I'm just kind of cleaning up her arch. I went a little too high, I think. Is that better? Perfect. There you are. <clears throat> That's the how to brow in three easy steps. And now at this point, oftentimes your client's asking, oh my gosh, what did you use on me? And that's when you have the opportunity to retail the kit to them. Yeah. And that service can be um, a service, you know, menu item that could be, you know, 20 to 25 minutes. You could offer the clients a, a wax. 
um, you know, a consultation, a brow map, and then you teach them how to do the how to brow in three easy steps. That's right. Great. <clears throat> And now we're just going to go over a couple of displays for you so you know what kind of options you have. What I was working off was actually a tester block. Our tester blocks, you can see I was working off of this one, but it carries your pencils or your creams. And this is great for any kind of service area where you're quick on the go. We have people using them at shampoo bowls. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Doing brow fills. Yes, all over the salon. The other option is our tester display. Sorry, Sarah. This display is phenomenal. This is one that we usually work off of the most because it holds both your creams and your pencils. Still compact enough to go into a service area and it has a removable and reversible header. Yeah. Okay. And then the last one is our standard display. The standard display holds all of your retail and your testers and it's great for any of your front desk or lobby or Anywhere people are purchasing. Yeah. We have a few others too, such as like a flash curl display and eyeshadow display that are great by the register as well. Yeah. It's very important for merchandising, as you well know. Client can't book what they can't see and they can't buy what they can't see and touch. So I have walked into accounts that have had, you know, maybe an issue in, in some retailing and I found the products in a locked, you know, cupboard with the key with the manager who's not in or accessible all the time. And the front desk people can't pull the product to check out the client. So it's very important that the synergy from the back goes to the front right. as far as, you know, merchandising and checking out and retailing. So we do have consultation cards that can be filled out. So the esthetician can fill out the client's information. Um, it comes with, you know, the colors that they can fill out and just check off really super quick or a product. It has the whole how to brow line there. Um, and then that guest can, you know, walk to the front, give it to the front desk, and then the front desk can check out the client and um, you've got the sale. So it's very, very important. And we also have brow fill cards. So the brow fill cards, you can um, have them accessible. And maybe when the guest checks in or the client checks in, um, they could be offered in, uh, a complimentary brow fill. Um, and then they can just take that to somebody who is doing that within the business. Mm -hmm. So if you want to, you know, talk about that more, um, we can look at your business model and figure out how these service integrations, if you're not currently doing it this way on how they can fit in and how you can maximize this incredible opportunity to do brow fills. Right. We also have some color matching guides, which we haven't gone over yet. Should we go over these really quick? Yeah, we're going to go over color matching. Now these should be printed and laminated front and back for your service areas. So um, they're incredible tools just for a reference. And also they're nice enough to actually show the client and, you know, maybe show them the color that you're going to put on them. Yeah, they make a big difference. They're pretty easy to um, reference too. So we're going to go through both of them. We have one for fill with eyebrow cream and pencil, but we also have one for our highlighters. <clears throat> so this one's for our eyebrow creams and pencils, and it goes through each shade in here. So it's great for your front desk. It's great for your service providers. Um, it's really good reference. So starting off with a lighty shade line, which is our beautiful blonde. And this one is a cooler tone shade. It works great for your blonde haired clients that might be cooler in tone or just naturally blonde as well. We have our Luscious Light Brown, which is a golden tone. So this also works for more like strawberry blondes, light browns, a lot more golden in tone. It's a really beautiful shade. Tantalizing Taupe, this is our most universal shade. It complements so many different people, such as Sarah and myself. So I wear the taupe, so does Sarah. And a lot of times your clients are more than one shade. We always like to go one shade lighter in the cream and then one shade, or we like to match their brow shade in the pencil. So if I were to do my brows, I'd probably use the taupe cream, but I might use the medium brown pencil. Yeah, absolutely. And I personally, and you're going to see this with your clients, is that they will be more than one shade, as Kayla mentioned. So I do wear any one of these four colors that you see, blonde, light brown, taupe, and medium brown. So on the retail side, there's an incredible opportunity to retail more than one color. So mm -hmm. if they buy a taupe cream kit, you could then add on a medium brown pencil. So, and then they'll obviously come back, you know, and there's different times of the year, they're going to have their hair different and their look and everything. So absolutely. Our medium brown, this is a cool tone shade. It's, it's a really a great shade to go <clears> to <throat> a lot of times because it is more natural. Even if you have dark hair, this works beautifully with myself. I wear this shade and naturally you might look at my brows and be like, I'm going to use dark brown. 
but that might be too dark. I'm not trying to make brows darker. I just like to enhance them. So if I put dark brown on my brows, it'd be pretty dark. So I like to go with the medium brown. Awesome Auburn. This is really unique to our line. This is a warm tone shade and it is a true Auburn. So if somebody naturally has that Auburn hair, this matches them usually perfectly, or you can mix with a little bit of blonde or light brown, depending on their hair shade. Dazzling dark brown. This is a warm toned red, sorry, warm toned brown that has red in it. So it is a brown and it looks very natural and it has that little bit of warmth to it. A delightful deep brown. This one is a cool toned deep brown. So similar to dark brown, one is warm toned, one is cool toned. So both these are beautiful just depending on their tone of the hair. Graceful gray. This is a great one for platinum hair, ash toned hair, um, any more mature cello bellas out there. We love this one. It's unique to the line as well. It's hard to find a good gray. It really is. And your younger clientele that are dyeing their hair, that grayish, you know, um, blonde color, like platinum color is really good for. And I've also seen it more recently used on a, you know, very dark haired, black toned haired um, person that wants to wear it as a graphite black. So it has that graphite, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. That's so really cool. it's a really cool look. Yeah. And our elegant ebony, this is a cool tone black. So there's no warmth to it, but if somebody naturally has black hair, this matches them perfectly. So don't be afraid of it. It doesn't look too intense. Just have a light hand. Okay. Now we're going to go into the highlighting guides. So our highlighters come in four different shades, light, medium, dark, and deep. And then it also has two shimmer shades. So light is our lightest shade in the line. Works great for fair to light skin tones. Medium is great for somebody who might have a tan in the summer. So they might be light in the winter, but medium in the summer. It just depends. So this works beautifully for tan skin tones or medium skin tones with a peach undertone. Dark is beautiful as well because this one is not ashy, but it has that neutral peachy undertone. So it gives them that great contrast. And then we have deep, which is a neutral undertone. So it's not ashy, not orange. It's a great neutral undertone. So it does give them that perfect highlight. Our two shimmers, as we mentioned earlier, they're very universal. So you can use the light on any skin tone and the dark on any skin tone, just depending on where you're placing it. Yeah, absolutely. So there's your color matching, guys. These are really, really great to review with the team. Make sure that all the team is, um, you know, up on all of this. And we have a question. Is the deep brown for hair? Hair shade that is not quite black. Yes. Yeah, so if their hair is very deep in shade, but it's not quite black, it's perfect for them because they have that deep brown color to it. Yeah. Yes. Great. Yeah. And I think that really, it's really experimenting with the colors. That's why it's always a good idea to have all the colors in stock. Um, you know, I've had a couple of people ask me, well, I just want to carry, you know, three or four colors. Um, when you put all the colors together, you're going to be really surprised on how versatile they are mm -hmm. and, and how they can, you know, complement your clients' um, yes. brows. Right. So thank you everybody so much for being here today. We do have these monthly. <clears throat> so our next webinar, it's actually rather quickly. It's November 7th. So if you did have any technical issues today, feel free to jump on then, but this is also being recorded. So we are going to be emailing this out to everybody um, today or tomorrow, or maybe the next day, but it'll be out this week for you. And we look forward to connecting with you again and make sure you join our next webinar. because we have holiday kits. Holiday kits are in stock uh, soon. Uh, they're actually available on our Cello Pro website. We don't actually have anything to show you right now, but they are fabulous. We have, I think, three different versions with some color variations. Um, they're great to have on the shelf, and we will be doing a webinar on them next month, but they'll be available um, in the next week or so. Yes. So we're really excited about those. Yeah. And follow us at Cello Beauty. We also have the Cello Pro Instagram um, and Facebook group. So please, please, if you're out there, Join us there so that we can, you know, see you and connect with you. And we look forward to seeing you really, really soon. Right. Thank you, everybody. Hope everybody has a great day.